Presenting our officials for this match, first referee, Mr. Daniel Palada, national referee. Second referee, Mr. Giovanni Vargas, international referee candidate. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers. Let's begin with jersey number two, Private Marianne Esguera. At number seven, Private Ivy Perez. Wearing jersey number nine, Corporal Honey Royce Tubino. Number 13, Private First Class Nerissa Bautista. Number 16, Corporal Lutgarda Malaluan. Number 21, Private Jeanette Villarreal. And starting libero is their team captain, number 10, Sergeant Angela Dunag. Head coach, Sergeant Randy Fagliorina. Calling on our Petrogaz Angels. Wearing jersey number two, Janelle Welch Cheng. At number five, Gretchel Soltones. Wearing jersey number eight, Isa Pontilias. Number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. Number 13, Mar Jana Phillips. And number 20, Jonna Sabete. Starting libero is number 18, Sienna Mary Ariel Cruz. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almadro. All right, PBL fans, we have the Lady Troopers going up against the Petrogas Angels. The same lineup to start for. Uh, the yellow shirts today, Villarreal, Perez, Tubino, Malaluan, Bautista, Esquera, and Nunag starting for the Lady Troopers. And as for the Angels, they do have Sabete, Maizo, Puntilla, Soltones, Palma, Cheng, and uh, Phillips as well starting alongside their Libero Cruz. And they're wearing red for today. Again, we welcome you to our coverage. This is coming to you live from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Nick Gomez Po at your service alongside Ivy Remulia and Franny Reyes. All right, Ivy, are you looking for any team or even any player in particular to start strong in this matchup? Well, I think it is expected that uh, MJ Phillips, of course, for the Angels will be performing today. And Pontillas has always also been very consistent. So. You know, I think, and so far the Angels has been doing very well in in their previous games. So I think for Army, on the other hand, well, we we have Royce Tobino. I think most is, is a given already. But I think we also need to expect a little bit more from Villarreal because she has been, you know, uh, that spark plug you know, for the Army also in certain games. Well, Jeanette Villarreal is the second leading scorer mm -hmm. of Army, just behind uh, Royce Tobino. She has scored 53 points so far, and she is the 21st leading scorer so far in our All-Filipino Conference. They go to the quick. That's kept alive by the Lady Troopers. Villarreal from the opposite angle. Put up by Pontilla. Sabete! Is there a check? Looks like there was. There was. So it touched the hands or the fingertips of Malaluan. We talked about Jonas Sabete. Having performed very well in their previous outings, scoring in double figures. Sabete is number four in terms of scoring in the Petrogas lineup with 37 points approaching this matchup. We get a service ace now. It's special to make that MJ Phillips getting the ace. MJ Phillips has been, you know, as I mentioned, pretty consistent here for the Angels. Uh, we've seen how well she defends the net. She has also been uh, very lethal in her attacks, but she's also contributed at the service line, which is you know, an additional, uh, that's an added factor, an added bonus. Definitely a good sign from your middle blocker, MJ Phillips. They still are continuing to score here. Army Black Mamba Energy Drink looking for the groove down 3 0. MJ, now that time it's low. 
And you did mention at the start of this matchup, you would want to see MJ Phillips continue with their good momentum. And now, serving for the Lady Troopers is another person we talked about in our pregame in Lut Malalua. Now we go to Franny Reyes for a report. Definitely the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers are far from where they want to be in this conference. And I asked Royce Davino what the missing link has been. And she told me it's actually consistency. Consistency that has to start from the service balang all the way to their defense and reception. Without consistency, without consistency, then they'll have errors and that's what kills their momentum. Knowing this and knowing that they can start strong, can they be consistent? We'll find out. There's the word for you. The backhand right. word is definitely consistency for the Lady Troopers. But right now, still too early. Mm -hmm. But obviously, they will come need starting uh, lineup to play a little bit better because they're down by two. That's right. And you Lady know, usually troopers. it's the errors that are hurting uh, it's the Lady Jersey Troopers. Number two, private, in fact, in Marianne one of the previous Esguera. games, it's uh, against me. I think it was a game against me, if I'm not mistaken. No, they had uh, seven Rangers errors in total for that, Money Royce for that match. Tupi. That was only in three sets. Right, that's right. 17. Nerissa, are having Bautista. almost six errors per set. Number 16, Corporal. Scores Corporal. from the opposite Look angle. Malaluan. Kung narinig ka ni Jeanette Kanina, you want her to step Jeanette. up. Now, we get a service ace from the Lady Troopers. Starting with Vero is their team captain. Serve from Royce to Vino. Sergeant Angela Duna. Just like that. We are and tied coach, at four. Oh, that was challenging Randy the defense of Pagliarini. the Libero of Petrogas. It's Ian Cruz. Calling on our Petrogas the Lady Angels. Troopers serving in Royce Tubino. Ball up. Jersey Sabekis number two, Janelle Welch. Oh, the Galoyan. Too easy for Jonah. Five, Rachel Sotonis. Jersey number eight, Aiza Pontilias. It's always Number nine, Mary, Remy Joy, Sora Palma. For those attacks, Number 13, kind of Mar, Jan, oh. that's right. Phillips. And number 20, she, Jonah uh, she also Sabete. jumps high. Kaya talaga Starting merong force is si number 18, Sienna, Mary Ariel. Some force on that Cruz. serve as well. Five to four hours short. Rachel Sostones. Oliver, Alan, Kept alive by Ben Esquera. Ito ngayon si Villarreal. Ooh, I surprised him with Villas, but not with enough. So far, so good uh, for the Army Black Mamba. You know, I think the key here is they just need to the keep this line up to start. You know, not for, uh, allow Petro the yellow shirt today, the uh, heat up to the points. Malaluan. Bautista, Esquera, and Jeanette Luna Villarreal starting for the Lady Santos Troopers. City. As Back for the Angels, all. they do have Ball Sabete, Sabete. Maizo, Puntilla, Sotones, Palma. Like a very comfortable attack. Uh, Phillips as well starting alongside the Liberals. None from Army even attempted Red to save the that or keep that uh, tip this is alive. Center in the Angels are the numbers for the service team alongside Ivy so Remulia and with an Franny Reyes. Of All right, Ivy, are you looking are for one any block team or even any two, player in particular to start seeding in this matchup? Chance well, here for I the think red it shirt. is expected they go that uh, MJ Phillips and Ford will be performing today. Yes, we it's all almost also are, you know, assistance. It's very sure so, already yeah, that so far MJ Phillips will be getting that very well. Quite surprising the army was able so to I defend it. So I think for army on the other hand, well, so we, they we did have come all the way from the back. Yeah. It's a but, uh, given already. If you do know but that it's I think MJ we also need to expect a little bit more well. from Villarreal because she has been, back. you know, uh, another poor that's part of the side of the army also in certain games. Well, Jeanette Villarreal is the second leading scorer of the army just behind the hands of their blockers. She has scored 53 points so far. And that is the 21st technical timeout. So far, our guys are already well contracts. They go to the quick. They go to the quick. They go to the quick. That's kept by the Lady Troopers, Villarreal from the opposite angle, put up by Pontilla. Sabete! Is there a check? Looks like there was. There was, so it touched the hands or the fingertips of Malaluan. We talked about Jonas Sabete having performed very well mm -hmm. in their previous outings, scoring in double figures. Sabete is number four in terms of scoring in the Petrogas lineup, the 37 points. Approaching this matchup, we get a service ace now. Discussion to make that MJ Phillips get the ace. MJ 
Andre Phillips has been, you know, as I mentioned, pretty consistent here for the Angels. Uh, we've all seen right, we how well she defends the net. She has also been uh, very lethal in her attacks. She's also contributed at the surface line, well, which is, this is actually you know, a very interesting matchup. I think that is much more to support taller centers to the league as well as Miguel Chang. But both of them actually have to cover, aside from the setting, they also have their other, you can say, specialties outside of that. So Ivy Perez has also been doing very well at the service line. In fact, she's the number six server here in the league. But Janelle Chang is doing better defending the net. She's also, she's a number nine blocker so far here in the tournament. Those are very impressive coming from Sersher. We talked about By the way, Ivy is also a part of the outside of Well, actually, you know, for Ivy Perez, she's also expected Part of the things probably you have to expect from her is that not from really where they want to be in this but conference. And I asked Royce to be you know, what the, the missing thing has been. And she knows she's actually a factor, so that is an advantage. She's used to that from the spike game. game. All the way to the Without
Is that your check? Looks like there was. There was. Touched the hands or the fingertips of not the work one. so much today. Yeah, we talked about Jonas a bit, yeah. Yeah. having performed very well in their previous outings, scoring in double figures. Sabete is number four in terms of scoring. She is the second leading scorer of Petrogas, just behind Isa Maizo approaching this match. Let's serve this case now. It's Gershel, make that push to be the first place. Leading the way for the big troopers. Phillips has and been a lot of like mentioned uh, pretty consistent here for the Angels. He again, no? The so see how well he lives the match and probably is in the very deep over here. That was a good match. He's also caught him at the service line, which is... This is after the very first match. The final match is quite as good as the more taller center side of the league as well. He's well checked, but both of them actually have the upper, aside from the setting, they also have their other busy specialties. They're not able to read it very well. So they're not able to keep the ball alive. Just unfortunate here for the yellow shirt so far. 14 to 8. Regalo para kay Nam Aiza. For reception there. It's also been a struggle for Army yeah, in this yeah. conference. I hate to say it, but they're in the bottom of uh, a lot of categories. Something that ca they can, of course, still change up. Some more games on their schedule. And you know, sometimes we've seen how Army usually they start off slow, mm -hmm. and then towards the middle or probably the end of the of the set, you know, they start to pick up. So let's see if they will be able to recover here. NJ Phillips off to a great start with five points and a couple of blocks. DJ Cheng back sets. Ooh, Palma is rejected. That's a good sign. Yes, definitely. And Royce Tobino and Marzan teaming up against Remy Palma. So I think it was Royce Tobino who had a hand at that. So now a couple of points for Royce Tobino. Who had 73 coming into this matchup. Barbie Marzan. From the bench in this matchup. The one with the serve. Palma kick. Yes. You know, there hasn't been much power from Petrogas, no? That's right. It, you know, they've been targeting that donut hole in the middle of the defense of Army Black Mamba. And it's working. Why change it? 16 to 9 in favor of the Red Shirts. Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. And again, we welcome you to our continuing coverage of the PBL 2023 All Filipino Conference. Today, we are inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. And the score is 16 to 9 in favor of Isa Maizo Pontilias and the rest of Petrogas. Ivy, you were pointing out that. They have been finding that Donald Ho mm. in the defense of Army. That's right. You know, several uh, tip shots, you know, or probably the, the, uh, the deflection from the block. So that has been a struggle here for uh, for Army. Okay, may service, may ace, service ace. That's right. That's the first service ace for Isa Maizo Pontini. That's the second in this matchup after the first one by MJ Phillips. After the ace, now it's an error from Pontilias. But they do have the luxury to have a little bit of errors. Mm -hmm. That's two service errors now on the side of the Angels. 10 serving 17. Tobino straight to the libero. Sabete close to the net. That was hard. It was sent back by uh, yellow shirts. Take 
a look at it, Ivy. Two blockers, and there's really not much way for Sabete to go. But uh, Coach Oliver was saying should have swiped it, you mm -hmm. know, to the side. That would have given them more chance. Strong hit right there. Nene Bautista, Gretchen was there. Ooh, DJ Cheng tried to score. Put up. Pontilia, Sabete again. Another rejection. Good read from Villarreal. Back to back blocks for Jeanette Villarreal. Oh, you gotta love that. But they're really making it difficult for Sabete. Lead cut down to five here. Tobino with the help of the net. She gets a service ace. Tobino now has four points. Looks like uh, the referee is asking the bench of Army or whoever. They're asking someone to move away from the court. Well, we can't quite uh, we can't, can't quite see it from here. I mean, the the lady troopers themselves cannot <laughs> quite see it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a four to zero run for the yellow shirts. A good sign for them. Villarreal. Ball sent back. Tobino will set this time for Nene Bautista. And she breaks down the wall. This is a good run here for Arm, that Mamba. And because of that, Coach O will now call for time with his team. So, alam mo na kapit pwedeng gawin. Okay, we have to vary our attacks. You understand? Now, nangyayari, isa lang yung direction ni Remy. Pwede kahit tayo lang, walang problema. Inexpect na kagad niya, tumatakbo eh. Kahit tayo, pwede. Then, kaya mo na lang siya to be scared sa mga. Okay. Where we start, to receive. Girls, let's maximize our strength. Defense, defense. Let's go. Timely timeout right there for Coach Oliver Almadro. It's a 5 to 0 run. That's right. But uh, if you're Petrogas, where should your sense of urgency be at right now? Well, at the moment, you know, I think. Uh, what? Coach Oliver had the, made a good point over the timeout. They really needed the defense. So, but I think Army stepped up a bit in terms of their uh, defense at the net, and that was probably where the Angels were not able to adjust just yet because they had total control of the game at the start right. of this set. It was an eight-point lead now erased. So it's 17 to 15 now. Big time run for Army at this point of our matchup. Royce Tobino will be serving. Oh, that is out after the error of Sabete. Back-to-back errors here. Oh, that's right. But, you know, Army did catch up uh, quite a lot. So that's five points. They were five, uh, they were how many points down? A 6-0 to zero run before that that's right. uh, mistake. Received by Tobino here. Gonzalez, it's too close to the net. Kept alive, Pontilias to Soltones, deflected. Bautista keeping it alive as well as Gonzalez. Soltones now, again the battle at the net. Bautista sending it across. Palma's turn to push it, but that was long. Well, Premi had the right intention in mind. Everybody in the army was at the center or the front court of the, the front of the court. So there's really nobody there at the back. It's just too much push for that one. But how about the defense of Army? Do you think it has uh, It has come actually alive? improved, you know, the, the defense improved a lot and that's why they're able to give the Angels a run for their attacks. See them keeping the ball alive. Gonzalez! <laughs> Almost a beautiful point from her. Ah, hindi may tatawid. It's a little bit low for Nene Bautista. But better reflexes we're seeing right now here for uh, Army. We have a substitution. Nicole Tiamzon checking in for the Petrogas Angels. Pretty deep team, though, if you look right. at the bench. Jan Zihar Vaso, even Des Clemente is there. Chisai, their team captain, is uh, not even starting. 
Well, Cheng has improved a lot the past couple of conferences. Nene. That was low again. Oh, oh there was a touch. The point. There was a touch called by the referee. And I think it happened right in front of him. So he probably had a very good view of it. Looks like uh, they won't be challenging here. Remy Palma tried to argue her way into a challenge, but Coach O and the rest of the coaching staff said, nope, we play on. Now we have Audrey Paran who will be serving for Army. So this is an important serve for Army. They're just down by two. Of course, Army would want to keep this close. There's the serve by Audrey. Chen Cruz on the first ball. MJ Phillips who started well in this game, going at it once more. Well, so far, the blockers of Army are not able to get the timing of MJ Phillips. That was late. Phillips now has five points, coming off of 24 and 13 point performances. Bautista from the other angle, kept alive by Marzan, just not too high enough for the teammate to put it up once more. Point run here for the Angels. Easy answer right there for Petrogas. Now it's DJ Cheng, 21 to 17 hour score. Setter sending it in. Nope, that was long. Third service error in the side of the Angels. This is just arm's length for Army, mm -hmm. down by three. Bautista on the serve. DJ goes to the quick again. Oh. That's it. That was an excellent play from uh, Cheng and Phillips. Phillips is the leading scorer for Petrogas, now with six points. As you get to see a change in setters, Cheng will take a breather. She side, one of the legends that we mm -hmm. know, checking in for the first time. Served by Gretzel. Straight to Bautista. Gonzalez to the quick. That was outside. Now, because the lead has ballooned once more into five points, we have a timeout. Okay. Sa atake nila, tandaan mo, wag na wag ka patatakot sa, sa quicker nila. Ha? Wala pa naman mati sa... The funny moment right there, the band behind the bench of uh, <laughs> Army getting stressed out. Right. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Well, Army is down by five points after they were, they were able to trim it down to just two. It is now 23, serving 18. Gretchel Soltones doing the honors. Second leading scorer just behind Isa Maiza Pontilias, currently number 16 in the league. Gonzalez on to Tumbino off speed. <laughs> Sino buong si pa ini ng Isa kasi tumiretsyo sa fans. Oh, that's right. And my Isa apologizing to the audience. That uh, was a good attack from Royce Tumbino trying to change the tempo and the momentum. The lead cut down once more. It's 19 serving 23. Gonzalez. They go to Tiang Zon with another push. Gonzalez again, back set this time. Rejected by Petrogas. Now Gonzalez tried to score. Phillips, ang magtatawid. Open. Tobino, deflected. Aiza keeps it up. Magtatawid ni Tiamzon. Defense coming alive. This is the longest rally so right. far. And Tobino will score against two blockers. Army's trying to hold on here in this set. You gotta love that. The oh fight yes, like definitely. That's what, like you mentioned, one of the longer rallies you've seen. A lot of good defense from both sides. Jane Gonzalez now serving, 20 to 23. Good serve. She side back sets. Aiza. <laughs> 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 veteran, yeah, veteran moves. 
Good man. He made, she made it look very simple. Let's take a look at that again. Look at that very sneaky swipe. Wow. <laughs> and Tobina knew it. Yeah. She was laughing on was her like, way down. I was like, I'm going to Ooh, great serve right there. Nuna got that ball. Chance here for Petrogas. Sa'ed, on two. Tak Aiza down the line. Aiza Pantillas oh, asking for, for a check. check. That was out. Will they challenge this? Let's see if they will challenge this. Kung uh, wala. Hindi pa rin. No challenge. They're talking to us. Kung wala. All right, so... Uh, we do continue here, 24 21. Marzan will be serving now. Down by three points. Still possible for a comeback. Sa'et. Ooh, ready. Palpa. It's like punishing the defense with one in the back. I said there was a touch. <laughs> He's trying to make her point, but yeah, that was a good attack for Ready Palma. Great set as well right. from G Sa'et. Blockers were way too late for that one. So, a great start for Petrogas. A good return as well for Army. That's but, right. Uh, better closeout as well from the Angels. 25 to 21, the score in set number one. Set number one goes in favor of the Petrogas Angels. We mentioned their great start and Jake Phillips leading the way with seven points for the red shirts. In the middle of the first set, nakabalik ang army, mm -hmm. pero yung panapos ang naman for the Angels. That's right. So it was actually a very good run for army. They, you know, they caught up with as much as six points. So uh, they managed to trim down the lead, Petrogas Angels lead. Pero si Petrogas, you know, seeing that if they give this opportunity to Army, that it may cost them the set. So it was actually magandang panapos para dito sa Angels, not allowing Army, you know, to uh, be able to score more points. So a lot of sequences where they were calling for a, a wrong call to the referee, you know, but uh, the point was awarded to Army. As we can see here, the numbers for set number one. Uh, more attack points in the side of the Angels. 15 attack points is only 9 from Army. But both did very well blocking or defending the net with 3 block points. Both also scored well at the service line. So it has been, uh, I think, both of the errors, uh, the both teams rather, were able to manage the errors well. So it was just Petrogas where it uh, had uh, more opportunities to convert their attacks into points. And again, we have to remind everyone, it hasn't necessarily been power hits yeah. from the Angels. Right. Maraming lagay, may mga swipe pa tayo nakita. So, uh, so, I think it's really more that Petrogas really studied, you know, the defense of Army. So, uh, it's, it's really very obvious that they kind of know where to really bring the ball. Their distribution has been impressive as right. well. With Sabete scoring four points alongside Palma with four as well. But Niles has three behind the leading scorer, MJ Phillips, who has seven. So, balik na dito si Janelle Cheng, who got replaced by Chi Sa'in by the end of set number one. And Tiamzon will also take a breather once more as uh, Sabete returns. Army still looking for their first victory of the conference. On the other end, Petrogas looking for back-to-back -back win. Cheng with the serve. Good first ball there from Tobino. Combination play, good recover. And it's a free ball. 
Soltones, or there was a call. Net touch. There for Villarreal. The first point goes to Petrogas. But how about that for the Angels? They're still keeping at it. They get the first point of set number two. By the way, we got confirmation already that we do not have a challenge system as of now. Later on, maybe we can get that alive because of some uh, technical difficulties that we are currently experiencing. Kaya kanina yung mga coaches and players tumitingin sa atin as if Ivy had the power to do the challenges themselves. Baka daw kasi sa kanan nakita ko sa screen eh. Baka ako na pwede magsabi. 2-0 here, Villarreal. That was deflected by the net. Aiza Maiza Putilias. Now with some power. And again, there we see uh, one of the difficulties in the side of Army. If the attack gets deflected by the block, in most cases, they're not able to keep that alive. Army still scoreless here in the set. And Francisco also making her appearance at this point. Nunag. Villarreal. Is there a check? There seems to be a check, and there was a point awarded to Army. First point of Harvey in set number one. Remember, in terms of attack, the guys was well ahead in that department in set number one. It's now one serving three. Tin Francisco will do, do the honors. Did you see her back here in the PBL? Ball up by Sabete. A quick. And the Phillips continues to be there. And Andre uh, Phillips is quick. It's just too quick for the blockers of Harvey. Looking very comfortable That's today. That's right. Soltones serving now 4-1 to one in set number 2. Sharp serve. Challenging the defense of Angela Nuna. Scramble here. Chance for Petrogas. Cruz, Chen, back to Phillips. She's the Papa. That's right. And you know, the thing about uh, Chen is if she knows that Army's defense is still scrambling to get back into their position, she would definitely give the ball to Phillips right away. Andrew Phillips is now approaching double figures in this matchup. Literally approaching with nine points. <laughs> Five to one now. Gretchen Soltones just gave us a sharp serve. Ball up. Gonzalez back sets. Villarreal who scored the first point of Army in this set. That's still alive, but Phillips is send it back to the corner. And he is dominating. Just uh, able to do it all here for Petrogas at the moment. Consecutive points. So Ivy, since her return, 24 points mm -hmm. against BLDT, 13 against F2, now 10 against Army, all in double figures. That's right. So, and it, it told you, you know, that uh, we would not expect anything less than double figures, of course, from MJ, MJ Phillips. Another sharp serve by Sultan is creating this opportunity. Good save from Pino. Army. Good coverage. Gonzalez to the other side. Ball deflected. Ooh. Madalina yun. Para the first time. Quick kick here from Royce Trevino. Second point for Army in the set. The net defense was there, but the recovery wasn't. Right, and good coverage on the side of Army in that sequence. It is two to six. Cheng. Aiza, down the line, out. I want to ask you this. How can you describe the evolution of Aiza Maiza Portillas in your own opinion? Well, you know, I think she has always been uh, very talented. You know, from, from the first time that I've seen her play in her, in her college years, I've always felt that she has been very talented. But, you know, I think one of the things that really... Uh, grew, you know, in terms of her talent, was that she plays very smart. You know, I think that's one of the things that our younger players can really pick up from her. That uh, she's really not all about strength, right. if you notice, but she really she reads the opponents well. She varies her attacks, and and uh, she would you would normally see that she's really thinking about where to bring the ball. That has definitely been on display in this conference once again. Service ace for Petrogas will lead us to the first technical timeout of set number two.
Welcome back to the PVL All Filipino Conference where the Petrogas Angels are leading 8 to 3. Now, in that first set, that first set, the Angels actually had seven errors. And before the start of this second set, the veterans of the team actually huddled everyone together, reminding each other that they have to communicate, but also they have to enjoy what they're doing. This is a team that has played with each other for a while. They won the last conference and they know what it takes to win. They cannot underestimate Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers, and that was something that Coach O even reminded them before the game. Always respect your opponent and play to win. Back to the panel. Definitely a good sign of respect from Petrogas, giving tribute to Army in this matchup. Army did play very well in the middle part of set number one. Right. But uh, that's also a great reminder. These are the defending champions in terms of uh, the most recent conference in the PBL, explaining just how good they are. And, uh, talking about the good, that was also a good serve from MJ Phillips. Another service ace for Phillips, mm -hmm. her third ace. 12 points now for MJ, who puts it up. Sabete tried to target the back, Gonzalez. On to Bautista. What do you say about the body language of Petrogas? Do you, would you say that they're comfortable right now? Well, they seem to uh, be moving confidently, you know, but we've seen some stretches or probably some sequences in the first set that uh, there's a bit of like hesitation in, in the rest of the body language. But I think what's good about the Angels is that they're able to recover that very quickly. Uh -huh. Right now, they have a chance to score once more. DJ, Aiza, Maizo, Pontilias. We talked about her evolution. And don't forget, she's a lefty, so the angle, obviously the cross-court angle can be as sharp as it can get. Good to follow It's a follow Again, it's not exactly the strongest of attacks, but well enough to score. Bautista's cross. Cruz was there comfortably from the back now. Soltones, great effort by Army on the floor defense. Naitawid, Cheng, 1 2, Esquera deflects it. Then Bautista. Ooh, Soltones, a little bit too late on that one. And that's also another uh, experienced shot for you there, Big. So then Bautista is trying to aim for the hands of the blocker. Again, not the strongest of hits. Oh, Isapaya, no? oh. making, making the PVL feel so timeless. <laughs> Five serving 11. Tinagno, or make that uh, Mean Esguera. And it's Jonas Abente down the line. You see those smiles coming out of the faces of Petrogas almost every time. So even if Army scores a point, you would see them smiling from right. time to time. 12 serving five now. Jonas Sabete. Ooh, whistle blown here. What happened? What <laughs> So I think she thought that that whistle was for the serve. Oh, there was yeah. another whistle. So no, actually, no whistle yet. Ah, uh, no whistle yeah, yet. Yeah, no whistle yet. Yeah. Okay. Francisco, that was a bit low. Yeah, that did not cross over. So run here for Petro, guys. Seven to two. Take a look at that recent attack by Team Francisco. If you're a blocker, no. Sometimes you would take a win, not if, not if, not necessarily if you get a kill block, but to just intimidate your right. opponent. You know, there's that's uh, there's a lot of impact to a block. Yeah. So Shempre, it's it's good that you earn. It's, if it's a kill block, you earn the point, but. Just the fact that you're not able to uh, let the attack cross over, right. you know, that already uh, says a lot. But that's already an impact to the attacker. Again, this is the number one blocking team in our conference so far. The Angels. Tough one for Nunag. Tatawid ni Bautista. Ooh, a miscue. Sultones <laughs> looking at her teammate while on the floor. Uh, very rare do we see that sort of error in the side of the Angels. Lead is seven here. Then Bautista will be serving. Four points so far. 
Chabete gets the first ball. Cheng, one, two. She loves that. Yeah. And Ivy Perez actually saw that already. Just a little, maybe a fraction of a second late. So there will be a timeout for Army. Now, for Army, Black Mamba Energy Drink, you have to remember, they're facing an 8.8 now. They faced the lead like that percent, right. which they were able to return. That's right. So they managed to trim down the lead in Petrogas, eh, Rosa? I think this is also one of the reasons why Petrogas is not taking them lightly. You know, it's a very comfortable lead here for the Angels, but they're not taking any chances, you know, because uh, they've seen what Army can do. It is 14 to 6. By the way, you just saw Heather Ginoo already inside the game for Petrogas. Now it's Remy Palma who will serve. Palma is their third leading scorer behind Pontillas and Soltones. Francisco. Ball hit the tape of the net. And there is Gretchen Soltones with a strong hit. It's 15 to 6 now. Soltones challenge. Angela Nuna got that one and she was very successful. Palma and Petrogas now with the chance to get a double digit lead. Ooh, what a serve. Scramble for Army. Chance here for Petrogas. Cheng goes back to Phillips. That brings us to the second technical timeout of set number two. A double digit lead it is for the Angels. Sports fans, do watch Pilas Pilipinas on August 25 or August 27 and or August 29 and be entitled to watch the other games scheduled on that day inside the Araneta Coliseum. Get your Gilas Day Pass right now. Limited passes available, so buy now. There you have it, folks. A lot of sports happening mm -hmm. at this point. So probably all the sports fans here, they're confused. Uh -huh. There's not enough time <laughs> for a, a day. What you know, a problem. To, yeah. <laughs> it's a very nice problem to have, you know. Definitely. <laughs> and a lot of sports are televised. Right. I mean, just volleyball alone, you're oh. not really sure how to manage. Action is happening inside the SM Mall of Asia right, Arena right now. Exactly. But we also continue here in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. <laughs> See Jonas Amete now has seven points for Pentagas. Take a look at that pipe attack from Dona Sabete. So the struggle for Army continues. They're having a problem in their floor defense. They're, you know, they're, it's, it's become a challenge for them to really keep the first ball alive. And uh, they have no blocking at the net at this point, which really makes it very easy for the Angels and Lappers. And uh, circumstances like that have also happened, unfortunately, for Army. 18 to 6 now, the biggest lead for Petrogas in this matchup. So there's the respect that they've also paid to Army after mm -hmm. that comeback that they were able to experience in set number one. That's right, and it seems like you know our, the Angels really worked double time just to make sure you know there's no repeat of that set number one. 
Bautista, that was deflected by Phillips, who has been blocking very well today. Soltones off speed. Perez, the chase by Nuna, close to the net. Tobino finding. Uh oh. Tried well, to find the corner, but it was outside. There might be some communication problems inside the court for RB. It seems like, you know, they're not sure who's supposed to get the ball. Like, everybody's place to scramble after it and not really, uh, you know, like, not a specific assignment of who's supposed to be getting it. So definitely a communication thing for Army now. Are you better from this receive by this? It's an easy one for Phillips. Has been short for a couple of runs now, but uh, no adjustment on the side of Army. Remy Palma has been doing that time and time again, effectively, as we should say. Well, she has been at the service line for quite some time already. Ayun na, inahanap ng Army. The slide, malaki malaluan. And they needed an activation in the middle. You know, the middle of Army has been very silent so far here in this match. I think that was the first uh, attack, good attack in this set from the middle of uh, Army. Remember, Malaluan was even subbed out mm -hmm. early in this matchup in favor of Andre Marzan. Service error pa ngayon, wala may ball three parad. We have a double sub. Desclemente. We have to have three substitutions. Right. Chisaid and Isa Maiza Pontilias coming in for Cheng Phillips and Ginoo. That's how deep Petrogas is. They have a Des Clemente mm -hmm. on their bench. And of course, Chisait will now be serving. 21 to 7 hour score. Oh, we have a timeout. Army will call for the reorganization at this point. That's actually great for you to kind of uh, comp compartmentalize yeah. your uh, targets, your goals in this matchup. Ngayon, meron na silang ahabuling numero, 15 points at least in this set. Well, that's a big uh, climb to make here for Army, so... They're gonna have to outscore Petrogas mm -hmm. 8 to 4 if they wanna do that. Service uh, error, uh, characteristically from Chisa. That's right, but that's a free point for the side of Army Black Mamba. And of course, we'll take that any day. Serving now is Lut Malaluan. 8 to 21, that's a long one. Just unfortunate. And you would not want to make those kind of mistakes if you're down by this much. Well, you heard the huddle a while ago of Army. A lot of frustrations mm. as well, as expected. Again, never count them out, as they are very hungry to get their first win. Bautista got the first ball. Perez will send it to Bello. Challenging the blocking of Clemente, who now pushes that ball. Perez to the quick. Saeed, Isa's turn. Ooh. Oh, but that was difficult, you know, that was really difficult. Uh, but that was a good save, good try and effort there from uh, Army. Coach Randy Fallorina, Roy Stubino at the bench right now. Well, obvious, Zier... uh, obvious look of frustration on their mm -hmm. faces. Well, if they're on the bench, Zihar Vasho is not on the bench on the other side because she now has come mm -hmm. in. 23 to 8, Gretchen Soltones. And Petrogas up by 15 with the help of the net. Never Ooh, take man, man. your eyes off the ball. So that's one of the basics. You know, always keep your eyes on the ball. These types of moments could be very disheartening. Especially if you're already facing a lead like this. 
just unfortunate for Army. So Tones with the serve. Paran the first ball. Esquera to the quick. Yes. It's a good one for Army. Crucial serve now for Army. But at this point, they just have to make sure that they do not commit any errors. You know, at least make it difficult for Petrogas to get that last point. Nine serving 24 now. That's by Pelio. Sa'it. On to the open. Hervasho. Sent back. It's back to back points for Army. Now it reached a double digit score. Again, their number target is 15. Mm -hmm. That was the challenge of their head coach. Can they reach that? At hindi na sila pwede magbigay ng puntos pa dito sa Petrogas. And then a service error happens. Again, very unfortunate for Army. So that ends it, folks. The first two sets belonging to Petrogas. We are looking to get back-to-back -back wins. Pure dominance for the red shirts in set number two. Just not giving up any any signs of hope for Army. That's right. And the uh, Army was well, totally helpless already in that set. Pure control by the Angels. Let's see if they can bounce back. We still have uh, at least one set to go. know that this is a very highly skilled team but I think more than that is that their ability to reorganize themselves so we've seen how you know the uh, army managed to catch up in set number one and they you know at some point the Petrogas were a little bit uh, disorganized but they were able to recover and they were able to uh, bring their team back on and I think that's one of the good things about the Angels so uh, the numbers that you see on screen, this is for numbers from set number two. Again, the Angels with more attack points, 14 to 6. They also did better at the net with two points against only one block from uh, the Army Black the Army. And the services, this is actually one of the things that made it difficult also for Army. So although we only see three points or three service aces, but the services that did not score made it difficult for Army with the first ball. So that is why you can see the numbers as well. In terms of attack, Army was not able to make opportunities for attack because they had struggles with their first ball. And it also didn't help that Army had more errors, right. doubling the errors of Petrogas in set number two. That's a great point right there. Even though you don't get aces, as you get to see, we have uh, Kane Pangitulan, Chu, and Irish Pangulan. Sorry, let me apologize. It's Kane Pangulan Chu and Irish Pangulan Del Rosario watching at the sidelines. I remember you were talking about her, <laughs> the other woman <laughs> earlier today who looked so stressed. Yeah, so frustrated about the what happened in set number two. So that means she's, you know, uh, that's how it is when you're really very invested right? in the game. Okay, so we do start uh, set number three. That's a great thing, by the way, I was about to point out. What you mentioned about 
even though you don't get service aces, mm -hmm. you make it hard for the reception. So, uh, yung balik sa inyo, madali, ano, hindi gano kapigat. That's right. And it allows your attacking to be easier. Yes, and we've seen in several sequences that, you know, Army was still, still scrambling to get back into place. Petrogas automatically pulls off that quick attack. So, mm -hmm. walang pagkakataon si Army para pumosisyon. We haven't seen also a lot of long rallies right. in this matchup. Chisai to Palma. That's rejected. Battle at the net. The joust is won by Lenny Palma. See the numbers. Lenny Palma now with six points. We did mention she's the third leading scorer of Petrogas. 41 points coming into this matchup. Good for number 29 overall in the league. Sultanes with the serve. Is that in? It was outside. You know, you have to love how animated Vincent Sultanes is every time he plays. There's that entertainment factor. If not for uh, the people inside the venue, people watching right, on TV. Right, that's right, yeah. Actually, I think, you know, sometimes it's really nice uh, if you... Well, not sometimes, it's really better if you, re you get to watch it live. Because you see everything. Right. You know, it's things that are not uh, maybe caught on camera or shown in the camera. You get to see it here. And uh, if you're a Gretchen Satonis fan, as opposed to TV, you can stare at her all oh. game long. <laughs> <laughs> There's the attack from the back. Tata with Nitobino. Chance here. Herbacho. Sa'it. Onto the slide. Missed you right there. Oh boy, Pelis Pampola. gets hit. Oh, good. The defense both from both of these teams. Kapila naman, Herbaso. Good score. That's the first point for Z. Herbaso in this matchup. And uh, that definitely hit an Army player's hand. Even before that supposed save. 2-1 to one hour score. Palma again on that serve. Remy Palma's serve is not as strong as that you can see. And uh, she intentionally makes it short. Short, though. that's right. And she knew, or she knows, that it's uh, difficult for Army to get those short balls. But the thing about Army, you know, is Remy has been doing that short serve, but they have not adjusted their reception pattern just yet. He's back at it again. There's that serve again. Bawi naman ng army dito. It's alive. Sa'it onto Clemente. Put up. Perez back sets. Villarreal. Ooh, she side. Still hit her. That shit could have gone outside already. That's why she was smiling about it. As you can see, the body language of Petra, guys. They are enjoying this game, even though things like uh -huh. that happen. Villarreal with a good point for army. Audrey Paran, first ball, Saltones, cheap, on to Aiza, wow! That goes in. We need to miss my butt. Why don't we go to Franny Reyes at this moment? Franny, go ahead. The Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers were very quiet before the start of this set. And that means trouble for them if they aren't able to communicate and be vocal with one another. Actually, before the set even started, the coaches were reminding them, it all starts with the block and the receive. And that's something that Ivy Perez told me before the game. Na if gumagana ang middles nila, dadali ang buhay ng lahat. Right now, more than a battle against the Angels, it seems like a battle amongst themselves. Can they find it within themselves to keep fighting and stay alive in this game? Let's see as Isa Maizo serves. Thank you, Franny. Well, Franny did mention they would want to activate their windows and right on cue. They do that in his Marzan, who scores. Uh, we've mentioned that earlier, you know, that uh, the middles of Army has been really silent in this match. And uh, that has actually made it easier for the Angels. I mean, not only in the attacking, but even in the net defense. Right. Well, if we can go back to the attacking as uh, RB gets the service in. You guys always say, a few analysts mentioned that when the middles are activated, it makes it easier for the wingers to attack. Mm -hmm. Right, because 
you know, you 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 split the defenders. Eh. That's the thing. Eh. Mahahati yung mga blocker mo sa kalaban. So that would give you more uh, options and mm -hmm. more area for your attackers. Just a one-point game, folks. Marzan, <laughs> loving that point. There you have it. When they activate their middles, good things happen. Mm -hmm, that's right. But you know, you, it has to start with a good reception because it, it's going to be difficult to give a set or a play to your middles kung pangit ang inyong first ball. So it is 5 all now. Army looking good so far in set three. Sultan is with the first ball. The chase by Saeed. Pontilias, what a sharp hit. The angle on that ball was so good. Army arguing near the ball by the red Point is awarded to the Angels. Carvacho getting ready to serve now. Marzan still trying to plead her case. Her teammates telling her to calm down a little bit here. But the second referee is talking to the first mm -hmm. referee. Again, there's still no challenge system, folks. They will continue with the initial call outside from Army. So it's a point for Petrogas and Hervaso will serve. Six to five. That's low. So that's waiting time here for C. same argument was it's not an air-conditioned venue. Well, I beg to differ. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really the same. Pa rin eh. Yeah. Oh, that's why you're the analyst. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it depends on, on the athlete, but you know, for me, it, it doesn't really make a difference. Usually, if you really, you need to make a lot of love regardless of whether you're in an air-con or non-air-conditioned ven venue. It can affect. There you go. The push by Malaluan, kept alive by Cruz. She side with the push. Buhay pa rin. Now, on to Clemente. That's all of Marzani. Back and forth we go. A lot of drop shots, a lot of placement hits. We've seen in that last sequence. That's why a lot of people scrambling all over the floor. But Marzan got the last touch of that. So the point goes to the Angels. Des Clemente will now serve for the red shirts. 7-6 to six in set number 3. Petrogas looking to close things out in straight sets. Slide for Malaluan was rejected. Bautista. Hervasha was there. Chased by Chisai. Sultanis' turn. Off speed. Kept up. Malaluan. Ooh. Well, good intention. But that was quite difficult as well. Well, the net definitely did not help on that case. Eight to six hour score. Thank <laughs> you. 
back for your matchup between Army and Petrogas in the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. The score is 8 to 6. So it's just a one point game, folks. And Army definitely wanted this after being down. Being in set two, Sabi ni Jason Gabriel. Army, let's get one this conference and really shake the standings. James has his uh, as her icon. So much fun about the day, but still shooting in two. Uh, BBL AFC 2023 for Petrogas versus Army. Let's go, Angels. Gotta love that support from Sheila. And yes, she's right. A lot of volleyball happening at this moment. As Isa Maiza Pontilia tried to score, it's kept alive. Bautista's attack is really good. How can you judge the level of play of Army compared to sets one and two? Well, I think you know they did better in set Ooh. number one. Actually, the uh, it was very obvious that they were encountering some challenges in, number, in set number two. Set number one probably was a very good start, and here they're still trying to get their footing together, but at least better than the second set. <laughs> Oh, by the way, folks, we do have uh, the schedule for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. We're going to be facing F2. On March 11 and Signal HD on March 16. So stay tuned for those matchups for the Lady Troopers. Miss received by Nunag, who definitely knew it. Oh, what did you able to make something out of nothing? Good hit. It's nice to see the army, you know, still trying to fight and push things here. Oh, that is what Coach Randy asked from them in That's that right. huddle. But one of their assistant coaches also said, you have to enjoy. Exactly. And I think that was what uh, went missing in set number two. It did not seem like Army was enjoying, you know, uh, what they were doing at that time. So and it kind of reflected, of course. Service error pa, laki Ivy Perez. You know, their service errors have come at unfortunate times. Right. That's right. Like we're saying, you know, these if you even if you don't score A's, just put it over. At least you don't give that free point mm -hmm. to your opponent. Soltones, the other end. We have been seeing some sharp serves from her. Well, that was a good pass. Ooh, there's a violation against Army. And a violation error. I think it was called off against Malalua. Esquera will check back in here for Malaluan. Thirteen serving eight. Gretchel's numbers: six points on four attacks, one block, and one ace. Straight to Paran. Over received it. Mula sa likod, Bautista. Gretchel puts it up, and they go to Isa Maizo Pontillas. Excellent combination play on the side of the Angels. Now, Aiza will take a breather. Marian Buitre will check in for the first time. And as you mentioned, just very intelligent as a player, this woman. And there's Marian Buitre, who could be a fiery player, by the way. Very exciting to watch. Oh, Sultanis. Look for the ace. <laughs> it seems like it did make it to the line, but yeah, it could be a very, very slim. You margin. see the frustration <laughs> on her face. They can't challenge as the system is down. Coach O, by the way, reacted as well, but a little bit on the lighter right, side. Right. He's definitely happy with the performance of his team. 
Saet opens up. Ooh, that's a good hit from Cian Basso. All right, the remaining games of Petrogas. They have Akari this March 9 and March 14 against Cherry Tigo. Again, we are taking note of those because we are already closing in in our semifinals picture. Petrogas is currently number four. They have uh, the same record with Cherry Tigo. who will be in action later against Akari. That's why this is going to be an important win for Petrogas. Of course, we want to win all the games to make sure that they seal that spot in the top four. 16 to 9, technical timeout. Back inside the Bill Oil, Echo Oil Center in the city of San Juan. This is Nick Scottis alongside Ivy Remulia and Franny Reyes for Army and Petrogas. Later on, we have Akari versus Cherry Tigo in our second game. Couple more substitutions here. Tiamzon inside for Soltones as they try to finish things out in three sets. Army on the other end. Question is, can they pull off a miracle here? and get their first win of the conference. Mm -hmm. Chance for the red shirts. Ooh. Was that a miss set? Yeah, well, I think it was a miss cue. The set seemed fine, or probably uh, could have been possibly this was for a, for a different set. Side talking to Des Clemente. Mm. Okay lang yun. <laughs> <laughs> That's your team captain talking to you. Comes on the first ball. Iba balik niya kay Desian. Yeah, so this time around, you get it right. <laughs> that, she knew it all along. Uh, that's what she was gonna do. Yeah. You know. Kaya may pakalabit kanina eh. <laughs> okay lang yan. Iba balik ko sa yan. And that's the thing about, you know, uh, as a setter, is you really need to give confidence to your uh, attackers eh. Especially a young attacker in Des Clemente. Well, that was a good one-hand dig. Ooh, Buitre finding the line. So Everybody. entirely different the set of players we have on the floor now for the Angels. So none of the first uh, the starters are on the floor. Great opportunity for them to step right. up as you get to see that shot by uh, or that hit by Marian Buitre that reached the line. Chase here, Perez onto the open, Bautista, Camzon was there. Petrogas loving it on their base, and it's all earned it as their pass scores a point. Good down the line hit from Zier Basso. Because of that, a timeout is called. See that beautiful setup by Saed onto Zier Basso. Army is really keen on getting those 15 right. points. Though. You know, I think small targets here for coach that he starts with 15. And I'm sure once they reach that 15, he will push the team to score more. 20 you know, naman. 20 naman. That's 25 That's naman. Niyan. <laughs> I think it, it probably uh, helps as well that you know you, you, you put in a target in the small chunks rather than looking at it at the very right. uh, big way. Because you know, you're 10 and you're 
target to reach 25, that's really a long way to go. But at least if you target 15, then you're taking it in baby steps. Right. Nga, diba? So I think that's a more achievable and more attainable. It's like uh, another way of saying one point at a time. No? Right. Well, it is 11 serving 19 now. Jeanette Villarreal. St. Cruz is back in the ball game. Hervaso, another strong hit. Oh, but that was returned by Army. Z again. Looks like there was a stoppage already. Because the ball went uh, by the antenna. The outside antenna. So it was inside in the court of the Angels, but going back from the side of Army, nasa labas na siya ng antenna. So there we have it. Petrogas scoring that point. Heather Gino look to uh, check in. Pero hindi muna. Si Jelly Tapiatura ang pumalit. Kay Sien Cruz. Si Hervasho has been giving us those strong hits lately. Strong serve as well. It's long for her. Five service errors now for the Angels here in the set. But uh, they can't afford as much. Not much emotion that we're seeing from uh, Coach Oliver Almadro. Mm -hmm. 12 to 20 hour score. Slide, Des Clemente, put up by Villarreal, the chase by Paran. Chance ball given up. Chi, back to Des. Well, she side really given uh, Des Clemente right. that confidence. This time, on the combination. Kind of uh, uh, set that up perfectly. Right. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think Army was uh, a little bit of 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 a little bit Onto the quick, sent back. Ivy tried to score. Tiamzon, papalo, na ibalik. Ya angat. Balik kay Chari. Oh, yes! Beautiful read. A lot of court presence also from Chari. <laughs> you gotta love that smile from Nicole Tiamzon. I know she looks the same as she. Right, just when she was in college. <laughs> she doesn't age. Oh, no, parang college pa rin <laughs> 22 to 12 now, our score, Heather Ginoo. <laughs> Nuna got the first ball again. By the way, Angela Nuna is a part of uh, the top 10 in digs and receiving, so we gotta give her the credit as well for her performances in the conference so far. Blocked by Remy Papa. <laughs> the lone starter mm -hmm. for Petrogas. She's been having her moments. Not all blocks. Couple of services as well. Right. And remember, no, she has been at the service line for a long time, but uh, probably not all aces. But again, she made it difficult for Army to give out a good first ball. There's a whistle blown against Army. Double touch here. So now it's 12 match points for the Petrogas Angels. Coach Oliver Almadro will now take a seat. Dali mo hindi hindi ngayon yata ne no. Relax na coach, relax na. 24 to 12, as we mentioned. Ivy Perez, the push, Malaki Bautista, back to Saed and Palma, try to finish it. Mo hi paren, Ivy Perez crossed it and the run. And gun. Unfortunately, was outside for Palma. So Army still alive here, and they could still probably make it to that target of 15. Oh yeah, can't forget about oh. that. Bautista serving. Hervasha got it. Palma on the push. And there you have it, folks. Petrogas Angels dominating in this matchup, winning the three sets. Third set, the score 25 to 13. What a game that was. We even saw the second unit contribute very well for the red shirts. That's right, and a very uh, hard 
fun game here. You know, even if Petrogas won this by three sets, they still gave it their all because uh, Army, we know, yes, I think they, they just have this tendency to come back. And also, Army, although they lost in three sets for this match, they've also shown in a lot of sequences what they can do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, the thing about the Army. Lalaban, lalaban oh, that's again. Right. It's part of their identity. And uh, we will wrap this game up, folks, when we return again. Petrogas grabbing this win inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Petrogas wrapping things up in three straight sets here. 25-21 in the first, 25-10 in the second, 25-13 in the third. Dominating fashion for the Red Shirts. Great performances across the board from their uh, players. MJ Phillips leading the way and scoring with 14. Palma had 9. Potillas with 8. Sampete with 7. Soltones with 5. And uh, some players off the bench contributed as well. Clemente and Hervaso had 3 points each while Diamzon had two markers of her own. What a performance that was. But uh, we do give credit to Army Black Mamba, the Lady Troopers in this matchup for uh, at least what they've shown, the heart that they've shown against the Petrogas Angels. That being said, it's back-to-back -back wins, Ivy, for Petrogas. And uh, we do have our player of the game who is with Franny Reyes. Franny, take it away. That's right. And our player of the game who else but MJ Phillips? Eight attacks, three blocks, and three aces. Now, you guys had a three-set win just now, but your vets pulled you guys aside at the end of that first set. Can you talk about what they told you? Um, just to keep our head in the game, um, <clears throat> we still have to fight with every single point and just continue to have a cheerful heart. Now, of course, you are coming off an injury. This is a back-to-back -back player of the game for you. Um, are you 100% or have we not seen what 100% MJ looks like yet? I feel like no one really is ever 100%. Like, I can always improve, but I, my shoulder does feel really good right now. And we look forward to more games from you and, you know, seeing your attacks and your blocks. Now, is there anyone you would like to thank or greet? I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my Lola, my friends, and my family, er, my fans over there, Petrogas fans. Thank you. Thank you so much, MJ. You can go and celebrate with your team, and let's send it back to the panel. Thank you, Franny. MJ Phillips, three games in our All-Filipino Conference, and she has delivered in double figures each and every time. 24 in her first game back, 13 in their previous matchup, and now... She's up to 14 points as she gets player of the game honors. How about you, Ivy? How impressed are you with MJ Phillips? Especially that we know that she injured her attacking shoulder. That's right. So it's actually pretty good recovery for her. And Bing, I think the number says it all because even after she has missed three games and just has played two games so far, but she has already racked up the points. 
you know, and uh, the way that we've seen her play today, we've also can see how much that she can do defending the net, uh, hitting the ball, attacking the ball, and also making it difficult for her opponents at the service line. So, you know, basically in all the scoring areas, she has been performing very well as a far. And as for Petrogas, they go up to four wins and two losses. Do you think they are in great shape right now as we are obviously nearing our semifinals picture? Well, the way they're playing right now, of course, it's obvious that they have very good chances. But we have to remember the remaining games, they are still up against very tough opponents. So they need, I am sure that they would still not take things very lightly and, uh, you know, do their homework to make sure that they go into that top four. All right, now we see the numbers for this matchup. That's right, here you can see the numbers, the total numbers for all three in this three set match. Metrogas leads with attack points. 41 big attack points is only 19 for Army. They also did very well defending the net, 10 big block points. And at the service side, so we've mentioned earlier, this is one of the key things that really made it difficult for Army, the services of um, the Angels. So it's uh, probably just eight aces, but again, you know, the, the difficult serves made it difficult for that first ball in the side of the army. Now, we gave the player of the game award to MJ Phillips, but would you like to give shout-outs, some recognition from other Petrogas players who played very well today? Yes, of course. A lot of us. Uh, actually, you know, the entire team played very well. And I think one good thing about you know, how they played today was the fact that they, they had the, the chemistry mm -hmm. was there. So you can really see that they uh, they had this communication inside the board. So there was no second guessing who's going to get the ball, who's going to run after it. So a lot of good performances. Jonas Sabete actually stepped up as well today. And the setters made all the attackers seem like a star. And you know what? Even in the second unit, as soon as they came in, the right. chemistry was still very visible for the Petrogas Angels. We also mentioned Coach Oliver Almadro didn't even have to be, you know, too emotional or at least, you know, to give out too many instructions mm -hmm. for Petrogas because of just how good they were in this matchup against Army. Now, again, Army still has a couple of games mm -hmm. to end this conference, so you can still expect the best from the Lady Troopers. Same goes to the Petrogas Angels who do have hopes coming into our semi-finals picture. So there you have it, folks. Up next, we do have the Akari Chargers and the Cherry Tigo crossovers here.